Hello and welcome to the first video in the series programming a chess engine and small interface in pure JavaScript. So there's a bit of a background as to how this tutorial series has come about. I've done quite a long series on programming a chess engine in C which has been with some people quite popular and I've had quite a lot of uh, positive feedback um, about that series. But the problem, well not the problem, but one thing about programming the engine in C is one it's not cross-platform, I've had to put different code in for the Mac for Linux and Windows and two you need then another GUI of which there are many free GUIs available particularly on Windows and Linux that you then connect the engine to so you're building essentially an executable. Well I was thinking the other week that it would be nice actually to have a program that completely runs in the browser. So this was the result. A couple of days ago I started to port the engine into JavaScript from the C code which actually proved to be relatively easy and then yesterday in about an hour yesterday evening I very quickly made this GUI here and connected the engine to it and the, and the way it simply works is to press new game and then click on your from and your to square and the engine at the moment is set to think for a couple of seconds because at the moment it's blocking the GUI when it thinks and you simply play against the engine in this way and when it's moved on the right hand side it gives us some statistics about its search you can also by pressing move now get the engine to think and move anyway for the side that's currently to move and you can also set up a position if you like by putting in an FEN string we'll cover those later in the series and also then ask the engine to move and find the best move in that position which it has done here the flipboard that's here as a button isn't actually implemented yet because it proved to be uh, a little bit of a pain and I need still to do that and I'll add some other features to this GUI as well but the basic point is is you can play versus the engine and it's running in pure JavaScript. If you're, Depending on which browser you're using you should be able to go to viewing the source for the uh, web page that you've got open and in Chrome uh, it came up like, like this and then I opened up this allcomp.js which is the JavaScript file with all of the code inside. Now it was originally as you can see here in the HTML code it's actually split and in the series it'll be split into lots of uh, other JavaScript files so we separate things up a little bit but for the site itself to speed things up with loading etc I compressed it all into one file here so the code might be a little bit, well will definitely be a little bit difficult to understand and read from this file but we'll be generating all the code in the tutorial series in individual files like this. As far as programming chess engines is concerned, it's when you first start probably a little bit complicated. But I'd recommend looking at the first video of the C series I did programming a chess engine because that explains a little bit about the community and the resources and where you can find various things uh, online to explain and help with programming a chess engine and I'd also recommend having a look at the MinMax and Alpha Beta search algorithm videos that I did. They're not essential at the start but later on we're programming the engine so you get an idea of how the engine actually searches and thinks in a position. But we'll be building this engine like I said completely from scratch. I'll be either writing or pasting in code step by step in the video as much as I did in the C so it'll be quite a long series but hopefully it'll be a detailed explanation so you can see exactly how the engine works. And like I said, this GUI here isn't supposed to be a groundbreaking chess interface on a browser. It's simply the quickest way possible I could get of putting a chess, uh, being able to play versus the engine via the browser. Okay, so that's it then for this video. Just a lot of explanation introduction. In the next video we'll get, in, get on with actually starting to program the engine. So thanks very much for watching and comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.